Installation of the swinging mechanism One swinging mechanism set includes two units that consist of the following parts. Two axes of rotation, metal parts, two attachment elements, plastic parts. Make a mark for the top hole, 7.5 mm from the edge. After that, also make a mark for the bottom hole at a distance of 41.5 mm from the edge of the profile. Drill a hole at the marked spot with a diameter of 5.5 mm through both walls of the profile. Then widen the hole with a diameter of 9 mm in the same spot only through the outer wall of the profile. Fix the axis of rotation to the upper and lower frames of the door with a screw. Insert the attachment elements into the rails. Fix the rails 16 mm away from the edge of the wardrobe for asymmetrical profiles and 6 mm for symmetrical profiles. Fix the attachment element to the bottom rail with the Allen key. The distance from the wall of the wardrobe to the pivot depends on the configuration of the profile. Insert the door into the bottom attachment element first. Afterwards, repeat this step at the top. Adjust the door and fix the attachment element with the Allen key. The axis of rotation must be connected closely to the attachment element. For adjustment, Loosen the assembly screw and lift or lower the axis of rotation. In case the door is tilted, loosen the top or bottom attachment element with the Allen key. Then move the attachment element left or right inside of the rail. After adjustment, fix the attachment element. As a result, the distance between door and wardrobe is the same, both vertically and horizontally. You can use a magnetic latch as a door stopper. Returnable and non-returnable are available. Latches can be installed to the side wall, both towards the top and the bottom of the wardrobe. Cover the openings for the screws with self-adhesive hole covers.